how do you know it's time to change your harmonic balancer welcome back to top five wire repairs how do you know you have a bad harmonic balancer and how do you know when it's time to replace it the harmonic balancer is mounted right in front of the crankshaft and there's a bolt that's going through it when the harmonic balancer starts to fail especially due to these rubber rings it's going to cause excessive vibration since the harmonic balancer is mounted on the crankshaft and when there is excessive vibration this can cause a lot of components to prematurely fail for example the engine bearing may start to fail the oil pump may start to fail and the crankshaft may also start to fail and it is possible that the crankshaft may also break as well on the harmonic balancer there is a pulley that's mounted here or an outer pulley and when this pulley starts to separate due to worn rubbers when the rubber starts to crack you gotta notice that this uh, harmonic balancer will start to wobble like this you can actually visibly see it and when you see it start to wobble like this it is time to replace it if you don't replace the harmonic balancer or crankshaft pulley this outer ring or the outer pulley can slip right off when it slip right off this is going to cause the serpentine to slip right off as well when the serpentine slip right off, it's going to cause a lot of accessories such as the alternator, the power steering pump, the AC compressor, and so on. And those components will not work at all. On some vehicle, there's a reluctor that's built on the harmonic balancer. And you're going to notice there's going to be a lot of teeth mounted on it. Basically, that's going to be used for timing. And since it's used for timing, and let's just say this slips right off the, uh, the pulley, the vehicle will, will not start. And, or the vehicle may also stall while driving. How do you know that your harmonic balancer is completely bad? Well, first thing first, let's just say you are driving and suddenly you hear this noise, a loud banging noise. That means a piece fell right off it and hit onto the ground. Next, if you see your battery light turning on and suddenly you notice it is hard to steer, or let's say your vehicle starts to stall, there's a good chance your harmonic balancer is going to be an issue and you should check that out. When you inspect your harmonic balancer, First thing first, grab your harmonic balancer and try to move it. If you see it start to wobble like that, it's time to change the harmonic balancer. Next, get yourself a flashlight and check the uh, rubber rings on it. If the rubber rings look cracked or they start to separate, it's time to change the harmonic balancer as well. If you plan to change your harmonic balancer, make sure you use some sort of pulley puller like this one. Each vehicle is going to have different design. And you're going to have to use the appropriate pulley puller for a specific uh, harmonic balancer. In this case, this is, this is a Toyota right here. We're going to use this pulley puller right here. It's going to be mounted like this. And there's going to be about two bolts. That's going to go through like that. So again, you know, every single vehicle is going to be different. And you're going to have to use maybe a three-jaw puller for certain uh, harmonic balancer. So as you have to look it up and make sure you are using the appropriate tool for it. Whatever you do, don't use a pry bar to try to remove the uh, crankshaft pulley or harmonic balancer. Because if you do, you might actually destroy that crankshaft. Also, don't, don't try to use a hammer and try to like bang it out or whatever people do in their own way. Because again, that's going to cause damage to the crankshaft. Always use the appropriate tool for the right job. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.